indeed. A strip sack by Nuosu seals the win for the Chargers, 23-17. to The fifth seed upsets the fourth seed on the road. The Chargers are now heading to Foxborough to take on the Patriots. Melvin Gordon had the touchdown for the Chargers, and Steve Weich caught up with the Chargers running back after the win. All right, first off, Melvin, you guys win another game away from L.A., but this one is the most important one because now you're going to the division around. Just what about the overall performance? You know what? We did what we needed to do. Um, we didn't convert uh, in the red zone like we should as an offense, um, but we did when it counted. That's why we got a good kicker and we got a solid defense that came out and played lights out today, and they helped us. So we got the job done, and we scored enough points to win. That's all that matter. That said, you got your team's touchdown here on a crazy sequence where look at you, know, you dove in, yeah. they ruled the fumble. What about that sequence? And then the fact that you were able to finish that off with a touchdown. Yeah, well, you know, Weddle made a good play, man. It was a wide open hole. I didn't think he'd get there. I tried to, you know, raise my legs, and he kind of he kind of caught me. I knew it wasn't a fumble. I knew, if anything, I was down uh, by contact from the ground. So I really wasn't worried about that. It was just the opportunity to get another chance to get in there. And they gave me another chance, and I just, you know, put it on my back and the offensive line, put it on their back for us to get in there and make something happen. Lastly, what about the way your defense rose up? This was an yeah. offense. You saw them a couple weeks ago. They gave a lot of problems, and they shut them down there, and then they finished it off at the end. Man, they did what they needed to do today, man. Them boys played lights out, man. Tremendous amount of effort, heart, turnovers. Man, they did everything we needed for them to do, man. As an offense, like I said, we weren't that explosive offense as we usually are. We usually come out and play, man, but they played well for us today, and they made up for it. All right, you got another story for your next Uber driver? <laughs> We're going to find out. <laughs> All, right, All right, Steve White's there with Melvin Gordon, and so there you go. The Chargers as the five seed now heading to face the second-seeded Patriots from Gillette Stadium in Foxborough on Sunday, 105 Eastern time kick on CBS. And uh, Tom Brady, who has not lost a divisional round matchup since 2010, little Instagram post. Hey. Come on, money on Phillip. They get the fight. I like this. Yeah. I, like this. I said it's a fight. Yeah, he, he, he has a scrap to it. <laughs> Country boy, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, should be fun when these two get together. One has a wealth of Super Bowl experience, the other none. Uh, Brady and the Patriots have made a habit of getting to the AFC Championship game. Can Phillip Rivers and the Chargers stop the streak of AFC Championship game appearances for the Patriots? How would they do it? Yes, they can. They can do it. First of all, their defense is playing lights out all year long. And that's how you you got to put pressure on Tom Brady. you got to make him uncomfortable in the pocket. So Bosa, Ingram, they got to get mm -hmm. make sure they get him off the spot because he's going to be behind the center, behind the guard. they got to be able to run the football, but it's going to be critical once they do get into the red zone on the offense yeah. that they score touchdowns. Yeah, a lot of field, field goals, goals. Uh, today. And then some of those were longer field goals, but field goals nonetheless. Uh, Michael Badgley was 5 of 6 today for the Chargers. It was actually the most any Chargers kicker has ever made in a playoff game uh, in franchise history. So what are your thoughts here, James, on this matchup here with Chargers and Patriots? Something that I've, makes a difference. I've been rocking with filthy Phillip Rivers all year you long. Have? I think this is Filthy? A Why is he so filthy? Man, you, you know, I had a cup of coffee with the Chargers, so okay, that's I got a nickname you. I guess. <laughs> uh, but uh, I like their matchup against the Patriots. Uh, they have a bunch of big-time receivers that can make plays. You got Mike Williams. You got Keenan. You got Tyrell Williams. You got guys that can make plays. They don't have a pass rush like Baltimore has. They don't have a defense like Baltimore has. I think Filthy is due for a big game. He's going to spread the ball around to a lot of those playmakers. I like them in this game. What's the path of victory for the Patriots offense? It's a little void of the the normal weapons that we've yeah. seen here from the Patriots. This is not the Rob Gronkowski that we've seen in recent years. It's Julian Edelman in the run game. Is that, yeah. that how you do it? I, I think you got to lean on Sony Michelle and the run game to, to, to try to get this victory. And you want to keep Phillip in that offense off the field. You know that your defense is not as strong as it usually is. You guys are giving me that look like he missed the field goal. But filthy field of Rivers. Oh. And what happened? Oh, Cody wow. Parkey missed the field missed goal. The field goal. Hit the left, upright, and out. Wow. The Eagles wow. Just won are the going game. to win. Well, anyways, back to what I was saying, man. They got to run the ball with Tony <laughs> Michelle. <laughs> wow. And this is one of those instances where the timeout pays off. Oh because my. on the first attempt, Doug Peterson called the timeout. Yep. Oh, my. And on the second attempt, Parky misses. It's going to hit the left upright, and with five seconds to go. And what happened is that he called the timeout.
Parky turns around and starts shaking his head like, I can't believe he called the timeout. But you knew he was going to call the timeout. Yeah. So in your mind, you can't let that type of play or that type of call for a uh, opposing team get into your mindset. Oh, that's definitely a meme right there. Oh, oh my goodness. You saw oh, the look on look the King Hicks' face. Oh, my Good, gosh. good, good, not good. Oh, man. Oh, kicker. You know, you think about it. When Kickers. it hits the upright, an inch or two the other way and it slides in instead of bounces right back out. Matt Nagy and, ain't moved. He been like this the whole time. <laughs> He's shot. He ain't moved, man. Oh my! I tell oh, you what. That hurts. So Nick Foles and the Eagles, the sixth seed, will now wow. head oh, to New shot. Orleans. I mean, I'm not even a Bears Saints. fan or an Eagles fan, but that's a gut shot, man, right there. I know I give kickers a hard time. I mean, I feel for my man because he's going to get a lot oh, of grief man, they, they coming from after. all. Yeah, they coming Not after. from his players. No, no, no. But the from all the fans. always going to ride but from, with but from the fans. But yeah. Right. Oh, my God. Fans, yeah, you take see. it easy on him, man. I mean, yeah. shoot, it ain't like he wanted to miss it. Man. Right. Chris Long and Kyle Long, two brothers there, went head-to-head mm-hmm. in this game, uh, just uh, shaking hands afterwards. And so the Eagles, the run will continue after the Cody Parkey miss from 43 yards out. The Eagles now are headed to New Orleans to take on the Saints, which means the Cowboys will come out here to L.A. to battle the Rams. And here it is, your NFC uh, divisional round playoff slate. Fourth-seeded Cowboys taking on the second-seeded Rams here from the Coliseum. That's going to be Saturday night. That will be a 5-15 kick here Pacific time. And then Philly going down to New Orleans to take on the Saints. Look, he's still in a rematch. He still ain't moved. I know that I know they rewound it, but he still ain't moved, man. <laughs> he's still on the sideline. Saints beat the tar out of the Eagles in the regular season. You remember that game down in uh, New Orleans uh, as well. Oh, uh, that hurts. Doug Peterson, Sean Payton are, are friends, and that'll be a rematch here in the divisional round. Oh, and then they're going to flash back and show all, all his, his missed miss kicks. Come on, yeah. man. Don't do it like that. <laughs> they're showing no, all his missed kicks. That's, that's, like, that's, that's like flash back and showing all the receiver's drops or something. Right. Come on, oh. man. Don't do that. Uh, stick with us. Game Day Prime is coming up. As a matter of fact, we are just getting ready to send you over to the fantastic crew over NFL Game Day Prime. Carissa Thompson with the gang of Hall of Famers. Shannon Sharp. LaDainian Thompson. Is what? I mean, you got to get, have to give the Eagles credit. Um, they played well. They come in on, on, on. You go into someone else's building because it's been a playoff for the last last three weeks for them. They had to win every game in order to get to this situation. Mm-hmm. So clearly, they're a resilient ball club. But uh, that's a tough way to lose the game for the Chicago Bears. You have that. You you know you get a last second field goal to walk off win and to lose it in that fashion is very difficult. But give, but give the Eagles credit. They yeah. won more so than the Bears lost. Yeah, you got to give Philly credit. Um, Nick Foles made the throws that he needed to make. He attacked that defense today. And, guys, I really thought that the Bears missed Eddie Jackson, their yep. all-pro safety. It's hard for me to believe if Eddie is back there roaming around the middle part of the, uh, of the field that Nick Foles is not going to test the middle part of that, that defense. And I, I just think that's where they came up short time and time again. The Bears defense is the middle part of that field being attacked. I love the momentum. That Philly came in with. That's why I picked Philly. I just wanted to clarify. I did. Pick oh, Philly. everyone at home. <laughs> they Dion did. called it. They you did. also picked Baltimore. Right. They, I did yeah, not. I did. We we'll we'll got to that, that game. We'll get to that later. And we, might, we might forget that. I felt like Foles had the, had the hot hand. <laughs> <laughs> Foles had the hot hand defensively. They were playing out of the skulls. They got a great front four. Uh, the secondary, you, you, you're playing the backup That's on top a of the backup. Group yeah. Yeah, it, 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 and they found it. it, it and Chicago I mean, capitalized on one of the cornerbacks today. And they, and they found it. Yeah, they did. <laughs> and Foles didn't have his best game. No. Yeah. But I knew they still were at least six points better. And they were playing on the road. So my hat's off to Philly. Why Chicago were you so a, confident in that, Ben? Because I felt like they had momentum. They had momentum. Not only did because they have momentum, Foles and experience? but because of F- F- Foles Trubisky. and well, experience. And Prime has always said you didn't believe in Tr- Trubisky. Just, you always said that. He I had just, a good game, though. He had a really good game. Okay. He, ha- he, he didn't turn the ball over, and but we've always said if he plays well enough and you rely on that defense, the Bears say, can but win. But see, that's the thing. If the defense don't play out of their skulls, and score off of a turnover mm-hmm. and provoke several turnovers. They, they got what a couple turnovers yeah. today. Mm-hmm. It was going to be tough because they're not explosive offensively. Right. And real, real quick, I, I, I hear you giving Mitchell credit, but there were some throws he missed. 
and there were some throws that should have been intercepted today. Mm -hmm. You know, so I, I would just say he did leave some throws out there. Mm -hmm. And this, at the end of the day, if we said Chicago was going to lose in the playoffs, most of us said the reason why it would be. Would be Mitchell Trubisky. Mm -hmm. you know, he played well, though. To, to me, he played well. Yeah. He, he played okay. All right. Uh, another <laughs> game today, wild card rematch of week 16 between the Chargers and the Ravens.